right let's just just doing a quick review of Wi-Fi so let's start with BTC pair I mean there's not much PA to work with here. it's still an early market but we can see this week so far it's down I think if it was gonna go up that's a, that was a big trap there um, and I spoke about this in the last review uh, when we broke this down as to I thought this was profit taking and it's gone to plan to the downside so what do we do now so what do we do now we've got a new month new quarter <clears throat> let's look at this price section here so if I go on the four hours probably a bit clearer this you can see it's been a clear pivot for us haven't it so this brown line here so every time it deviated it so you can see resistance support support deviated it here as soon as it got back above it there so it did the initial attempt above but this was still capped so at that point that close above is enough it doesn't mean nothing well, if, if it closes above, that's part one. Part two is okay. Does it hold? If it had held like that broken structure, then I would have said, okay, not only is it broken resistance, resistance should become support. At least this becomes a deviation, then long trigger. So then it comes back below. That's how normally a bottom is formed. Um, but this time, it, um, no, what am I doing this for? It reclaims this level. Once it reclaims the level, then that's the inviolation level set. And then it pushes whatever the targets were at the time. I don't know, these highs or whatever. Okay, that's done. Same thing again. Does it again? Pushes up, but it's still capped by resistance. Until resistance, until this breaks, I can't say a longer uh, move above here is a trigger. It's not. Once it can get above here, then you get the trigger. So this is if I want to confirm for the long distance, okay? I'm not saying you can't take trades within this region here. That's separate. I'm looking for the clear directional place. That would confirm a low to me. What confirms the low to me now is once it gets back above here and then okay this is short-lived so what would have been the target at this point so i'm saying all of this to build up to what i'm going to get at main you know, cap in the market is this level here let me fix this level off okay there so what do we do this time so notice right every time it breaks it previously you know get this sort of consolidation structure accumulation structure it gets back above again same thing here. In this case, swing fails. In this case, a lower, higher low. It doesn't matter. So at this point, when the market does this, you're thinking, okay, maybe a higher low. And regardless whether it is or not, I'm going to take a trade based off of that. If you've been following me long enough, you know I wait for a lot of confirmation. Okay, I want price to prove to me the high probability place that I within, within my trade plan. And if I had cleanly broken book above here, then I would have said, okay along and then at that point what would have been the target well it's got to be realistic that's the low first initial low and then after that so these are more towards short-term trading for me okay and then short-term day trade could evolve into something bigger who knows but this time look what it says it's continued to break down so you can argue okay it's come down it's taken out this low maybe it wants to push up higher so okay that's fine but we got the new month so would i put too much emphasis on the monthly open um this early in the month not really I, I like more price section to fold it takes a couple of hours to just get back above the monthly open unless you know we build some sort of consolidation here and then further breakdown then I say okay that's a further breakdown from a key level from the monthly open and then maybe an expansion of the monthly candle right now I'm sort of in two minds we got September low here and we got this so this is more or less my gray area right now okay it, it, was, it came here before there's no reason why it can't so the clear cut long scenario for me would be if whatever it does here, and this is the easy scenario, you may be able to get setups here, that's separate for day trades, whatever. If it gets back above here, we've reclaimed that. Okay, could this be the wake for the monthly? I don't know, possibly. But as a short term play, I'll play it from there towards there. And then if that holds, so if you get back above there and continue going up, that could evolve into something bigger. Or I get in again, look for a trade around here again. From there towards what was capping the market previously and then if it breaks above that well that's technically a breaking structure for me then okay so we got to swipe out these lows this is the level that's capping it once we enter here we're trading within this region again that's my range but within that range we've got this as the first objective second objective and then if it clears that level this then whole thing becomes a deviation and then also clearance of that means a breaking structure for me and then we can start attacking these highs then okay that would be the long scenario if it follows the plan that's my trigger now for the downside I'm actually leaning towards the downside so I want it to break out of the low that's capping it so if it I don't know where it's gonna hold could this level hold it could this hold it could it make one more run here possibly 
if you see my grey area, I don't know. I know above here, that's when plans become clearer. To the downside, if it makes a clean break below here. So I don't want to see a spike below it. So say you got this low, that's not what I want to see. I want to see break, hold, and the breaking structure. So if you watch the YouTube videos, I've been, I've been briefly going went over my clear trigger plan. And then that would be it. The money where it would be the easy target to reach for would be here. Retest this consolidation. That's a natural target price. Now and then it comes the point, does it bounce from here or not? I don't know. So I'll just trade what the market is telling me. If it bounces from here, then I can take my profit. Okay. If I've closed the position and it still wants to go lower, then I'll wait. Because at that point, if it breaks below here, hang on a minute. We've entered this old range again, this old consolidation. And then if I look what would be the midpoint of that consolidation, probably around here, just eyeballing it. So that would be a separate trade. So if it breaks below here and holds, then we've reclaimed this range and then we're playing towards within here. Within here, I look for a short setup. Again, same thing, what would be the short trigger? So in this case, when it breaks out, holds, make them long there. So if I show you an example of another short trigger, so say this here, it broke below it, trigger, downside, break below it, sorry, here, give me a trigger, consolidation, break of the consolidation, that says to me it's, hold, it's broken that level, it's consolidated, it's broken down further, that would be my trigger, and there, target one, and then target two, okay? So that's that, if it gets above, above here, that's my long trigger, if it gets below here, that's my short trigger, that's my main target, this would be an extra different play, bonus play if it wants to go lower, okay? So the main play from there towards there, and from here, working towards there as target one, target two. So that's Wi-Fi BTC. Now Wi-Fi USD, let's, let's do the same thing here. So what's capping the market right now? Well, it's this level here. So I'm going to control to the left as well. It doesn't really matter. But resistance, support, support. We can see the same exact thing, similar thing. So what would be the clear cut long play? Ideally, if they both set up at the same time, that would be better. The clear cut long play for me would be above here. If you go above here, then I'll go for the long scenario. What's capping the market? So got to have your targets ready as well. Can't just say long and that's it. That long could be short lived. So I think if it gets back above here, I'm going to pay attention to the reason why I say this level here, okay? That would be my long trigger. If it gets back towards here, first target and second target. So coming back to the point, why am I saying I have to pay attention to that and not be blinded towards just moon targets? It's because we could be high, low, lower, high, lower, low. It could be there. And again, where is it capped by? This is the main consolidation. That caps it. This is the main consolidation now. This could cap it for a, like this. So you're gonna be risky with our targets. If it gets back above here, then that's my play. And that is my high probability play. Okay, maybe small, but because it's high probability, I can put more risk behind that. Um, again, I'm not going over setups within this region here. Okay, that's for more, more short term trading. I'm looking for a clear breakout place. And then after that, if it holds this level, goes back above, could get another run up there. So first target, and then if it's got legs, then second target. Again, similar to Wi-Fi BTC, if it gets back above here and holds, then that's a deviation done, and then we start going for these sides here. To the downside now, what will be the clear objective to the downside? High probability, this consolidation here. Okay, so I post this on Twitter. So what's capping the market? It's... Um, well, this level here really so see this there deviates it tapping it it's copying again if you look on my twitter for yesterday i said it's like a pattern like this bounce and then if it breaks it then i'll step in so what i'm looking for is a breakdown below so first bounce that's normal you're gonna get a reaction especially when you're taking that key low you're gonna get that profit taking whatever okay could be the low i don't know to prove to me it's not the low it makes another break below it and this time holds don't want to see that wick and if wi-fi btc is doing a similar thing lines up then that's my short play towards here and that may mean oh it's only this much so the fuck what that's enough for me okay after that the same thing i went over with the uh, wi-fi btc we reclaim this whole range then if it breaks below that and holds then that's another play separate play or a compounding opportunity depending on what price does when it gets there to play towards yeah this bottom of the blue box maybe it takes them off there and then there okay so again my clear-cut long scenario with what I've got to work with right now 
above here I'm going for here and then there below there so these are more short term day trade type of setups I go for again if you want to use a bit of confluence okay I mean sometimes I do throw these trend lines in there do help a lot you know it's how we use them okay so hopefully a little more bit of a deviation get back below it and then start going for the trigger there towards there okay so that's my plan see hopefully it helps see how it goes